Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you a skincare routine for 30 plus as well as sensitive skin. Keeping the focus towards ordinary products and of course if you do not have sensitive skin but still the age applies to you and you may want to look into the routine that I have prepared for you, you can still use it. I've just mainly paid my attention towards the treatments that sensitive skin can use as well so it's less likely to cause irritation. And so I have prepared for you a morning as well as evening skincare routine so that you can see the setup and so that you can see how you can use the products throughout the week, keeping the main focus towards hydration, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles or even preventing them for as long as possible. We want to protect the skin, keep the overall skin health intact as well as may even help to smoothen the skin texture as well as reducing surface hyperpigmentation. So I want to have kind of like a maintenance uh, skincare routine. This is, I guess, what you would call it. So I have prepared for you an entire PowerPoint and I want to go over it step by step. And as always, you will be able to download it in the description box down below. Now let's get started with the daily morning skincare routine, which you can see right here. So this is the entire setup of skincare carotene this are uh, this is basically already the correct order of application and how you would follow them then in the morning and when it comes to the cleansing step I primarily picked regular cleansers for different skin types you can exchange them if you have a cleanser that fits your needs the best I did not include ordinary scrolling cleanse in the morning because for some it may even be a bit too heavy because it's a balm cleanser. But of course, you still could use that in the morning if you feel the need. Otherwise, replace it with a regular cleanser. Then after the cleansing step, I want to keep the focus towards hydration. So I went with ordinary marine hyaluronics or hyaluronic acid. One of them uh, is what I can recommend to add hydration to the skin and even give you some skin repairing benefits. Then once you have applied that one, you're going to leave it on the skin and then head into an antioxidant serum. Now, as you can see, I've picked all three examples that the ordinary offers because they primarily target not only um, the free radicals, which can damage the skin. So you want to reduce this as much as possible for your overall skin health, but they have some additional benefits as well. So depending on what you're trying to improve, you can go ahead and choose the antioxidant zone that fits your needs the best. And so you will be able to find a specific description from any product that I have mentioned in my example routines below the routines where you can see the description next to it. So I'm going to get immediately towards antioxidant part so that you can see what I'm referring to. So you can see right here are the three antioxidant zones. Next to it you have the description. So for example, if you're looking into resveratrol and ferulic acid, that one cannot only help you to protect the skin against the UV damage, the oxidative stress that can occur in the skin, but it also has anti-inflammatory properties. So if you want to look into such an antioxidant, this would be a great pick. Otherwise, UK is primarily also known to reduce redness. So if you have redness prone skin uh, due to specific causes, you can try that one. Or for example, pignogenol, which can help to enhance skin hydration as well as rebuild skin elasticity. But they all help to um, fight free radicals, but they have their little benefits to them as well. So go ahead and pick the one that fits your needs the best. Of course, with the products that I have picked, Depending on your sensitivity, depending on what causes the sensitivity in the first place, if it's just the sensitivity of your like the skin and nerves ending or if it's because you have already kind of like a damaged skin barrier or damaged skin maybe due to UV exposure etc. Um, I cannot promise you that they will fit your needs a hundred percent. I just can give you suggestions what you can look into. And so therefore I want to, I'm, I'm trying to do my best to give you several examples so that if one shouldn't fit, you always have another possibility. And so once you have applied the antioxidant zone to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then throughout the day, protect the skin. If you have sun exposure with your sunscreen in that specific sense, if you have sensitive skin, you're more likely to look into a mineral sunscreen. So this could be the ordinary sunscreen, but I want to warn you that one has a white cast. If you do not mind it, go for it. It's a great formulation. I just do not like the white cast. Therefore, I want to point it out. 
Whereas Neot sunscreen um, has a light tint, so you're not looking like a ghost. So those are two examples that I can share with you. And of course, apply to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then this would be the routine that you can follow daily in the morning. And below you have the overall general guide of how you can use the individual products as well as how many drops you would use, use of the specific treatments. And so then this would be it for the morning skincare routine. As for the evening skincare routine, I have prepared two different ones. You can go with one of them or maybe go with both of them. And you can see I went ahead with my frequency guide by including both of them so that you have an idea of how you can use those products throughout the week. So when it comes to the first evening skincare routine, we are working with exfoliating acids. And so I just want to keep a moment like the focus towards exfoliating acids. Now the Ordinary has several exfoliating acids, however, the peeling solution, for example, glycolic or lactic acid, they can, if you have sensitive skin, be quite irritating on the skin. Therefore, I went with some gentler formulations, and this would be then the Ordinary Mandelic Acid or the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Anhydrous Solution, which is not only a water-free salicylic acid solution, but at the same time, it's much gentler because it penetrates slower into the skin. So if you're a beginner to exfoliating acids, then you can go ahead and pick the right one for your needs so that the risk is already dramatically reduced that it's going to cause irritation. But I just want to point out one more thing, and this is when it comes to the cleansing step. You can see different cleansers right here. Those are suggestions that I can share with you. But of course, you could go ahead and just use your oil or balm cleanser on its own. So for example, just use the ordinary swelling cleanser on its own. That one is able to remove any excess oil, dirt, sweat, including sunscreen, any sunscreen, even mineral sunscreen, as well as makeup. So you could use that one on its own, or you may want to do a double cleanser. And when it comes to the double cleanse, I have a video on my channel, I can link it in the top right corner, but you will be able to find this guide under my sunscreen guide as well. There you have the application of the sunscreen as well as how you can then properly remove your sunscreen. So I do have everything in my PowerPoint when going through it. So I just want to point this out when it comes to the cleansing step so that you can adjust it accordingly to your needs. Then again, after the cleansing step, focusing it on hydration. Then after that, you're going to work with an exfoliant. And then if you should feel the need, you can follow with a moisturizer. And then I would recommend using a moisturizer that contains natural moisturizing factors. So for example, the Ordinary or Neots Hydration Vaccine, those are great moisturizers that feel lightweight on the skin and can help you to repair the skin. And so you will again find everything below the boxes, plus you have a little description of what the AHA, mandelic acid, as well as BHA, salicylic acid can do for you. But this would be a routine that if you want to go with that one and the other evening skincare routine that you would use Monday, Wednesday and or Friday. And I have the specific uh, frequency guide below as well if you want to follow it, if you want to slowly uh, get your skin used to the exfoliant, which you can use if you also just want to stick to that routine as well because then you may want to use the exfoliant more than just three times per week over time. Then when it comes to the other example routine, we're going to keep the focus towards retinol, retinoids. Now you may think, well, if you have sensitive skin, uh, those are treatments that aren't for you. Well, I can um, like calm you down because first of all, the ordinary uh, formulations are already in squalane. They are already quite gentle on the skin. Second of all, the strength matters as well. Plus they have the Gwenactive retinoid, which is so to say even um, like less likely to cause irritation. Therefore, I still want to include it in the routine. And that's the routine that you would then follow on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and or Sunday. So basically on the days where you're not using the exfoliant. But of course, remember, you can go with both evening skincare routines, then use those treatments on alternate days, or you can go with one of them. And then you have the frequency of your retinol retinoid below as well, if you just want to keep the focus on that one alone. But again, the routine won't change much compared to what I've just emphasized. After the cleansing step, you're going to add hydration to the skin. Then you can either pick the ordinary Gwenactive retinoid in emulsion or squalane. I suggest starting off with the 2% before heading into the 5%, um, just because then you're making sure that your skin is able to tolerate it and see how it goes with a lower strength. And if in case you want to look into a retinol instead, then I recommend just working with the 0.2% in squalane because 
if you're going higher up in strength with your retinol, it um, the, like the risk is much greater that it's going to cause irritation. It does not have to happen. You can look into it depending on what's really causing your sensitivity or to what degree you have sensitive skin. But I want to share my suggestion with you. Therefore, I went with those two. And then after that, again, if you still should feel the need, so even though the formulation on its own can already be quite hydrating, you can follow with a moisturizer afterwards. And then there you have it. Again, you will find everything in one slide when it comes to the order of application as well as how much you need to use. Plus the frequency is below as well. And so this would basically sum up the daily morning skin routine as well as the two evening skin routines and how you can alternate between them throughout the week or use them individually depending on the major concerns that you are trying to target. Now I want to emphasize that below the example routines you will be able to find an information guide about retinol retinoids. So you have a specific explanation right here uh, how they work. If you can use them during pregnancy, um, usually it's not recommended, but always talk to your doctor. And if you need to use sunscreen when using retinol, yes, but not in the evening. So your sunscreen is always important throughout the day, whereas your retinol is always being used in the evening without the sunscreen. But you can replace it with a moisturizer afterwards if you should feel the need. And then again, below that specific guide, you will be able to find the skincare product descriptions, which I've mentioned already earlier. So there you can find all the little descriptions next to the products that I have emphasized in my example routine. And then below that, I do even have a general skincare tips guide, like how you can do a patch test if you're being new to a product, especially if you have sensitive skin. This is something that I can highly recommend to do before applying it all over. Then a general guide about cleansing, damp skin and wet skin and the waiting time, as well as skincare peeling, which with the routine that I have set up is less likely to occur, but I did want to include it in case it happens to you, then you know how you can avoid it. And then below that you have the overall sunscreen guide, when it's the best time to wear sunscreen, understanding sunscreen labels. So you have the entire guide below, and as I already mentioned, the application and removal as well. So you will be able to find everything in the entire PowerPoint if you want to go over it again in your own time and if you want to follow this routine again you can save those individual slides to your device you will be able to find the link in the description box down below and then follow that guide and this is basically what I primarily wanted to share with you to give you an idea of what products you can choose if those are your specific skin concerns and needs then you have at least an idea of what could fit with your needs and I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you want to support my channel, I'm an independent YouTuber. I buy the products with my money. I create the routines on my own. Well, then you are more than welcome and leave a tip by clicking on the super thanks button below or even check out the description box there. You will find a PayPal link. And I will already tell you, thank you so much in advance. Now, if you now want to learn more about the entire application, I have several videos on my channel and I'm going to leave them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. And I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.